And this is our profit for the last two days. Welcome back to Simplify Mechanic. My name is Thomas. Today's video is we're doing a diagnosis on the 2006 Toyota RAV4. It's making a clunking noise when you turn left or right. So we're going to check it out for him, get it diagnosed. After that, we'll get them set up on a repair. So stay tuned. Now, after looking at this car for about 45 minutes, we found that we need to replace the steering shaft, and more in particular, the middle portion of the steering shaft, which is located underneath the dash. Now, the first thing we need to do is line the wheels straight up. So go ahead and sit in the vehicle, turn the car on, and make sure the steering wheel is absolutely straight. Walk around the front, look at your front tires just to make sure they are absolutely straight. What I do is I take the seat belt and I tie it to the steering wheel. That way when I'm removing the shaft underneath, the steering wheel doesn't move left or right. But I don't care how you keep the steering wheel straight. Just make sure you do. Now we're walking around. Oh, a little black beauty right here. I usually drive my Kia Soul, but I also have this Honda Accord. So if you like that, give me a thumbs up on my video right now if you like the black beauty. As you can tell, even cringe moments doesn't stop me from trying to get a like. Alright, back to doing the real work. Alright, pull out on the panel. It'll pop off on the top. Now it's still connected by two Phillip head screws that you have to remove. One on the left hand side. And one on the right hand side. As soon as you get them removed, the knee bolster or the panel will come straight off. After that, we're showing you the middle shaft portion that we're taking off, which is right here. But first, we got to take off the plastic covering right there to get to the bolts. Go ahead and pull back the carpet. And you're looking for the two white plastic clips on each side. All they do is screw off. There's one. I'll screw off the other one. And then get you a flathead screwdriver. Place the screwdriver underneath the black plastic piece and you're going to pry up and it'll come right off. See this bolt right here? It's a 12 millimeter. So go ahead and get you your 12 millimeter socket and wrench. Go ahead and loosen it up. And then take it all the way out. Now grab your screwdriver and you're going to place it in this little hole right here. And then you're going to pry it open. we got to open it up a little bit so we can get it off the rest of the mount. Now place the screwdriver underneath and you're going to pry up and see it moving. And then eventually you'll be able to slide it off just like that. And now what I'm pointing to is the back of the bolt. We actually need to turn this all the way around because the bolt's right there. You can't reach it from that side. So you go ahead and move your steering wheel to the left. See the bolt? It's a 12 millimeter. We still need to turn it some more. Let's so go ahead and take this off. Turn it all the way until your steering wheel is upside down. And then you'll have a good line of sight right there on the bolt. So you use your 12 millimeter socket and ratchet. And go ahead and loosen it up. Now, if you have an impact, you can go ahead and use your impact wrench as well. Now, once you have that off, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take a screwdriver. You can see I tried to take it off with my hand. It did not work. So you get your screwdriver, and you're going to pry it off just like that. Same thing we did. And then eventually, it'll come off all the way. And now that we have the middle shaft off, we're checking it out. And something that was pretty obvious is there's no resistance on either side. So when you're turning left or right, you can literally hear it hitting off the metal. When we got out here to this 2006 Toyota RAV4, it was having clunking when you turn left and right. We did the diagnosis, found out that it was the steering shaft. Only took us maybe an hour to get it out and reverse procedure just putting it in that's it for today's video if you liked it give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please do 
in the comment section. Let me know what videos I should do in the future. I can't be doing these mobile mechanic workday videos every time, so I need some topics. All right, simplify till next time.